at where we're at, we have gone over this drill one full time, and we use the green attachment by wall. Underneath is a 30 blade, and we use the E blade on her legs. Then we just use a little mister and brushed her up with our late pooch, and she's really well brushed up. So now my next, what I would do next every day is I'm gonna use my Wall Rivera with a number 40 blade underneath of it. The reason that I didn't use this clipper to start with is that this is a fine trimmer and this hair is so ridiculously thick. But what I do love about this clipper is that it's really easy on my body. I, and it is a powerful clipper. This hair is just so strong. So I'm gonna again pull the hair up and now this time I'm really focusing on doing every little hair. I wanna get it as smooth as possible, okay? And now I'm taking off a considerable amount of hair. Make sure when you're running over the rib that you're going and following the shape of the rib cage. Really, really important for you guys, okay? So now, my next move that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna completely shave the dog all over for the second full time, just like we did with the KM10. But now I'm using the Rivera. I'm gonna change the attachment and I'm gonna use the blue longest blade on the legs. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna finish shaving this up and then I'm gonna come back and we'll finish this haircut. Well, at this point, we have gone ahead and we have clippered her body off three times. And you can see we've done a really, really good job and how much hair we've taken off. And we've taken off that much hair in probably about eight, nine minutes maximum. So the first time that we went over the dog, we used our KM10. We used that with a 30 blade underneath. We used the green on the body and the blue on the legs. The second and the third time, I used a wall Barbara with a 40 blade and the same blades, green and blue. It's a nice combination. You can see how much hair is still left on. So I'm gonna show you some bevels and we're gonna finish this hair kit up. I'm gonna show you a bevel. It seems that you guys are always asking for bevel tips. So we're gonna just comb the hair straight down. Now make sure that the hair, or the pads are done and the nails are done always before you're gonna do the bevel. And you wanna give it a really good combing. Now she's a big dog. Make sure that you're not lifting the leg too high and tipping her over. I just do a slight lift so that it's not hurting her. Now I'm gonna take my curved scissors and I'm just gonna clear the hair just on the underneath. I'm not going into the top of the pad, just underneath. Then I'm gonna place the foot down, back on the ground, and I have already created a line underneath so now I'm just going to close those two lines together and I go slow and steady and I'm just building my bevel in. I think that you guys really need to have patience when you're doing bevels. It takes time. I definitely feel like a good pair of curved scissors is very beneficial. So I just keep combing all those little hairs from side to side and I'm building from the bottom up. I hope those tips help you for the bevels. We'll be back in a few minutes and we'll do a little bit more on her head and she'll be open. We are about 90% done. We've been working on her for about a half an hour. We've scissored up her bevels, a little anything that was hanging out around. And now, this is a really, really good trick and I really hope you guys can learn it. Go slow with it. It's called scissor over comb. It's actually a barber, barber trick, but it works great. You see how she's got a bit of tracking and stuff on her body? So you're gonna use the wide end of your comb and your thinning shears. This is definitely gonna take a bit of practice. Uh, it's not as easy as it looks. So you're just running and all you're doing is thinning shearing just directly over the comb. And now if you do this over the rib cage on these guys, it's gonna make a huge difference. It really, you can just see in a couple of swipes, what a difference that makes. So practice, it's definitely gonna take practice. Just keep the comb running while you're running the finisher over top. I'm gonna show you her face. 
Her owner likes to keep her ponytail long, so I have to respect what her owner wants. And her exact uh, instructions were this morning, can you tone her ears down and tone her beard down? So I'm gonna use a blue Bavera, or the blue blade on my Bavera with a 40 blade underneath. And I'm just gonna, I'm not pushing real hard on this. I'm just sort of skimming it off and bulking it in. So I'm not going to the skin by any means. You can see I'm taking off a lot of hair, but also leaving a lot of hair. So I'm going around and just bulking this in right now. Okay, you can see how much hair I took off a super short amount of time. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I use these attachments on faces all the time. I still scissor my faces every time, but I really have uh, started to perfect ways to take off a lot of hair. So you can see how much hair I've taken off in just a couple of seconds. Okay, so we're just gonna go back around and we'll scissor it up. Now we've bulked out her head with the long blue blade. I'm gonna go back and I really like using the chunkers for this. Particularly, no, remember, we've already taken the length off. We don't have a ton of length to take off. We just want to put some finish on her. Oh, and I went ahead and I put a little bow in her. I like to do that before I'm going to scissor the face in so I can keep the balance on them. Now, I just want this ear to be into the bottom of the face there. going to take off both sides of the beard and we've already created a line and a length with the attachment. And I want to make sure I get the back of the head too and blend that in with the body. But you can see how this face is really coming together and I've really only taken about 10 or 15 different swipes. So we cut in all the bottom of her beard. Now what I need to do is I'm just gonna tidy up her ears and definitely for, for safety alone, you need to feel where the end of that ear is. So I've got my fingertips on the bottom of that ear and then I'm just gonna blend that into the bottom of the jaw. I like to use the chunkers on this. It's a lot softer, especially on these double-coated breeds. And then for her, I usually take this little, her little ponytail, she looks so glamorous. This is not hard at all, actually. I just comb it straight up, and I create a line. And I just take my chunkers, and I kind of go in a little semi-circle because I want it to be a bit of a fan. But this is really not any harder than trimming your bangs. Okay, and then she has that nice how it little falls like this. Thank you guys so much for today. I really hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Uh, a couple of key points I really wanted to stress about you. Your equipment is really going to be so important to you. We completed this whole entire dog in about 45 minutes. You can see she's a gorgeous commercial length. She looks adorable. You could apply this to Labradoodles, all kinds of standard poodles, all kinds of your commercial haircuts. So I want to wish you a lot of luck. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for all your likes and your shares and thank you for subscribing. Have a good day.